Welcome back. Many are working, of course, remotely due to the coronavirus. And if you haven't had to do it before, of course, it can be tricky. So we invited our tech expert, Phil Yanov, here to talk about how to properly light and set the scene. A lot of people doing this for their jobs right now from home. So, Phil, thanks for joining us. Yeah, absolutely. Glad to be here. So where do we start? What, what sort of equipment do we need? Just the basics to get us going, set so, up at home. I mean, just for the equipment side, right? You can do this off of your phone, mm -hmm. but that's not as good is doing it off of a laptop if you've got a good laptop to yeah. do that with, right? The other thing I think a lot of people don't realize is you really do need to use that headset, right? I mean, having something where you've got something in your ear and a separate mic helps you from picking up all the noise around you. So I think the microphone's a big deal. So webcam, most laptops come with them already on there, don't yeah, they? Yeah, you remember the old days like <laughs> I do where we bought that little ball and we stuck it on top of it. We don't have to yes. do that anymore. It's usually built in. Those cameras are great in most of the current equipment. Well, yeah. a lot of people are using Facebook Live, and uh, it just so happens today when we had your segment planned, Amy made a little bit of a uh, boo-boo earlier when she did a 15-minute Facebook Live interview, and the camera was pointed at the top of her coffee cup. Wow. <laughs> the whole time. I feel bad. She so check there it that is. out. That is some kind of <laughs> awesome right there. Uh, well, and hashtag, the lipstick, yeah, there's the lipstick there's on the it too. List. Excellent. I couldn't have pulled that off myself, I'm just going to say. Wow. And listen to all that talking going on. Yeah. That is yes. incredible. Well, let's cut her some slack. She's yeah. been very busy doing a lot no. of Facebook Live interviews, but we had a good laugh about that for about 30 minutes. But sure. it teaches us a lesson. Check your shot. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Check the shot, right? So <laughs> I'll tell you, that's one of the good things about using a laptop as opposed to a phone. You get a confidence monitor usually on the laptop version yep. of the same software, right? She's got so many different pieces of equipment going when she does those things. It confuses oh, me. She's, she just she's assumed it was going to work, and I get it. Right. <laughs> yeah. Well, and you know what? She did the interview over again, yeah. and, and that was great, of course. Yeah. Great work ethic, Amy Wood. Yeah, she's good. Okay, let's talk about lighting. So yeah. how do we properly light ourselves? As somebody who's in television, lighting is everything, Phil. Yeah, no, I mean, you guys bring all of this, right? I mean, look <laughs> at all of this awesome stuff that we have around here. But it, the thing you can do at home is just, first of all, make sure that you're lit from the front. And if it's above your head and in, in front of you flat, that's probably the right thing to do, right? Yeah. That'll get you. You want to light the inside of your eyes. But the thing is, what people don't realize is in a poorly lit or low light situation, if they're using their phone or their laptop, it's working harder to process the picture and bring the light levels back up. So that actually degrades everything. So being well lit really matters. Things we never think about. Yeah. Okay. So what are so, I, a lot of people use those halo lights that they just kind of like clip onto their phone. Are those good? Or no? You know, but the thing is, you're going to tell us no. Well, no. I think those halo lights are great for everybody except the person wearing glasses. And when I do it, it's like an alien ship has landed in front. <laughs> I end up with a halo in front of each one of my eyes. So I don't use a halo. I use a flat panel like these up here, okay. but uh, I use a flat panel. And th this is stuff that you can find on Amazon? Oh, you can absolutely find them. I mean, let's imagine that you really care about it. Go spend the 20 to 60 bucks and buy a decent light from Amazon. But the fact is, I have done things like used work lights, little LED utility lights that are big flat panels that you can buy for 10 bucks at a hardware store yeah. and set those up, and they work pretty well too. Any particular shop on Amazon that you like to go to that has a good variety of this kind of stuff, or do you kind of shop around? No, you know what? I find a friend who has found something. I ask someone who's like, oh, you look really good. How did you do that? And then yeah. I, that's what I buy. That's, that's how I'm doing I, it. That's what I say to Amy almost every day. Yeah. How did you do that? Yeah, how did yeah. you make that thing work, right? All right, Phil, thanks so much. Appreciate it. It's really kind of changed the landscape, I think in a lot of ways of how we're going to conduct business and go to school too. It, it has changed. There's nothing we can do about it, but we could lean into it and look good while we're doing it. So let's figure that out. That's right. Let's get comfortable with it. Yep. Embrace it. That's right. Yeah. All right, Phil, thank you. And Jackie Brown <laughs> standing by with a yeah. check on this forecast. I know she knows all about the good lighting and the good angles. Yes, thank goodness. Yes, the lighting good over here. So I'm doing well.